Uh, yeah, I can tank them, mate. I can tank T1. Oh, we can go now, mate. No problem. We two manned it earlier, to be honest. Might take us a while to arrange the crystal down, but we'll be all right. Hello, everyone. Starting just a little bit early because this uh, I logged on and Fall of Truth raid was starting. As you can see, I've got uh, first time bonuses. I've never run this before. So. Muted everything. I don't know why I'm still hearing for other stuff. Yeah, Titan, I've got random screenshots going during that intro now. Just everything from my uh, DDO screenshot directory. Give me something different to throw up there as background. Oh. Yeah, I'm finally officially flagged. I thought I was flagged before, but I wasn't. That was annoying. It was a week or two ago, I think, when I tried to join. Keep in game chat on because it's a raid that I've never been done before, and I might need to hear what's going on. It is good of you to come, all of you. It's nice to get a first time bonus streak stuff on here. Slay the troop for one. 
So he cannot do to the little people what he did to mine. Come. Providing it doesn't lag. Somebody had to say something about lag, didn't they? audio but there's a lot of plot dialogue going on now. Dragon's ready, giant's ready, kill him. Getting confusion, dragon. Dragon's on 20, just hold a sec on the giant over there. Right, ready on the dragon. Okay, kill. Can you not res in here? Dragon's on 25. Over there. Okay, take him down. Dead. When you're ready for a rest, say, hey, mate. thought to look, examine that. I guess we're splitting the Reaver and the Draculich up. I'll be taking the Reaver east if I can get him. Death and life 
Life and death. You must kill us both. Together. Silence! Your spell is gone, Storm Reaver. And so is your time. Do as I say. Yes, Master. Now! Kill these peons! They know too much! Yes, Master. You're asking me, I've never done this before, dude. I have no idea. I'm just trying not to die. Okay, stop on the truck a little sec, guys, because the Reaver's on them quite a bit more. Kill the dragon, kill the dragon. All on the dragon. Nice. Not a close set of rolls. 89, 91, 92. I was 89, so it was a high roll, so I didn't get it. Cheers, Emma. Thanks. That was really quick, easy, and uneventful. Thanks, I'm somewhat disappointed.
Yeah, I can do that. I doubt I'm not really serious looking at any of this stuff, but. Well, that's another ray down. Looks like I got some uh, turbine points across to favorite level, probably. Let's see, mailbox is over here. I don't know giant hold does, so direct me where you want to go. 4,300 total favor, extra 25 TP. Nice. Oh, sorry about that. Had a bit of a cough. I hope I muted in time. Oh, that's right. Yudor is the you no know, smeg hat guy. Has parties up all the time. Welcome. You did. So what all are we doing? Madstone. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember which thing that is. I had to go out here and get all the uh, explorers because guildies were running this and kept getting annoyed at me because I didn't have the explorers. So, like they couldn't uh, do the uh, quicker paths to the quests. Let's see what else is going on. Um, I ran so long yesterday that uh, I gave all my news out then. I think. Um, Ice games and stuff are coming Thursday, I believe. So there's that. Um, let's see what else is going on new. I'm still not sure whether I'm going to apply to Players Council or not. I've got my app about half written and just haven't uh, decided for sure. I really hate the tablet version of Wiki is horrible. You can't resize it in the whatever. What am I using for a browser? Am I using Chrome here? I think I'm using Chrome. Yeah, in Chrome, you can't resize it, and it never accurately. Uh, Gives you the link you're touching. So, yeah. Let's 
All right. So it looks like Storm's Heart. And then south and then east. Okay. Got it. So it's a bit of a pain to look up stuff in the wiki on the tablet because of that. I don't know what the deal is with it. Just it's horrible. I presume somebody else knows the way. I'm just. I think you just follow this road. I just never, hardly ever out here, so I don't really know the way to anything. I don't know which ones are walk ups versus ones you have to talk to guys and just. Don't spend much time out here. I know a lot of people use it as a, especially for heroic, as a cornerstone of what they do. And I've seen a lot of people doing epic groups and stuff. But I, I think the place is neat. I just don't like running in it. This is a place to avoid. The greater here will drive you mad. And Let's see what we're doing. Will bring peace. Twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six. Oh, California's. That's cool. So welcome everybody to Switch Tuesdays. See more here. Uh, Titans here in the group with me. Doing some. I ran Follow Truth just a minute ago, and we're doing the flagging now for Titan for Follow Truth. We're on Thalanus if anybody wants to join. Epics. Feel free to say hi in chat or join us in game. Nothing really. Uh, Set in stone on the schedule here. I would like to get to 28, but it's not really a uh, big deal. I've only got, what, 700k to go. So I can catch up to that pretty fast. Two days worth of uh, spies and whisking will get me there. If nothing else. I might try to bring out one of my heroic characters in a bit. My uh, bank character, Hagglebot Bard, is uh, almost got a full life with uh, just daily dice rolls. Or full level without daily dice rolls. Not life level. That's a big difference. Yeah, I don't even know what the XP is like in here, Titan. I just don't. run this stuff often enough to know it hard at all, really. I sort of remember which one Madstone is. I don't think I already have, I don't think I have this on the Elite yet, let's see. No, I have it on Heroic Elite, not Epic Elite, so it'll be in your favor. But, that's some decent XP. First time Elite, bonus, 
plus daily th da playthrough plus stone of learning. Yeah, that'll help. I'm following some of lead because, like I said, I vaguely remember which one this is. You have to defend crystals or something at some point. That's about all I remember about it. Oh, and there's some giant skeletons down below. We'll probably be running this in our static group tomorrow. No, Thursday. Tomorrow's Wednesday. The whole holiday thing has me all screwed up on which day it is. go off or he uh, saved from it. This is, this is different than what I usually run, so hopefully that'll be nice for everybody. To some whatever variety. Although people are probably sick of running this themselves. Got some champions going on. Again, with the trip not working. See some remnants. Ooh, seven from that one. Twenty-nine from that one. That was a good one. Still a long way to ten thousand, I'm sure. I haven't really been keeping track, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a long way to ten thousand. Yeah, it's definitely some damage to me. Hmm. Oh, I should watch pop the silver flame potion. I forgot I had those. Actually, you know, I should put those there. Yes, Titan, thank you. Me going slow back up the hill a bit. That's where I saw them drop. These are just big bags of hit points. I 
need some past life healing amp. I've got the best healing amp I can get right now. And it just has not been enough. Eh, there's a fungus patch. What the hell? What the hell? I was a champion. Let's see any remnants from that one. That's right. Just work on those guys. Work on him, though. Why are you attacking me, Skeleton? I didn't even do anything to you. I was just about to kick in, but there we go. Free healing instead. That was supposed to be something the second one, not the first one that was already knocked down. Windows update. I don't need you popping over my game screen, though. This didn't pop me out of control for the game. That would be even more annoying. <laughs> Firewall. Hey, I got the kill on that one. Love that acid blast when it happens. I'm actually getting a lot of kills here. Everybody else must be prepping for me. Because I knew at least two of those are doing more damage than I am. <laughs> Another kill. Wow. Ah, I didn't get that one.
Yep, this is up. Oh, I am still getting kills. That's cool. Yeah, I figured California should be way up there in the kill count. You put somebody enough times and you get to at least an idea of their power level and their playstyle. Even if it is pugs, you still get an idea. No, nope. Can't have that. There's some remnants, nine for me. I sometimes catch the screen on the other computer out of the corner of my eye. I'm like, what? What's happening? Why is that happening? Uh, I need to pop a push. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. The 30, 20, 30 second delay, that's what's happening. Screen suddenly changes. Oh, hit that. Screen suddenly changes and stuff. I'm hasted, but I'm slow. I shouldn't need to rest at the moment. I've been pretty conservative with my boost usage so far. More remnants, three of them this time. A bright cascade of lava plummets from the heart. Below the force of the light.
seer turns to you. I do the ritual. You keep me safe. Completely whiffed on that uh, stun. There we go. So between the stuns and my uh, augments and the ice cloak, I've got several ways to put guys out of commission briefly. adrenaline. We'll also knock them down. So there's options. figured he would. Not much longer. He wasn't coming this way, I thought he was. I don't know where we're going. All I know is the people moving this way, and I'm almost inside of them. The tunnel rises ahead. Winding up the crater's edge. Hey. How far in are you guys? I don't you have third tier. You're all the way to the third. I've already done this one, so it's not that important. So if you guys, we're on our way to the third tier, so you have time to get in. Man, they immediately go after me. 
I've got that in sight. No, I don't have that in sight on. What do I have on that's making them go to me? My in sight's my lower level gear. I probably should swap something that out with something else for Epic Elite. I already have my boots. Death Horde, which I don't. Go ahead and get my own stone skin. A bit of blur haste jump. Thank you there. Mage armor. And rage. He does not like me. Giant animated skeleton, reanimated skeletons, I should say, just do not like me for some reason. I don't know why.
Looks like we're taking him out early. So my normal attack team is sitting here and watching, waiting isn't doing much good. Get somebody down there taking him out before they get that far. Of course, those above are doing that, so let's join the above fight. It's easier to drop down and take those guys out if needed. There's eight more mysterious remnants. Nine more mysterious remnants. So yeah, this is not bad. To get these guys. I ran. Hey, Mari. Is it Mari or Mary? I don't remember. I heard somebody say it differently than I was saying it. Now I'm getting confused on how to say. But hello. How you doing? See, and get the uh, key that's over there. That's right. I swear. We're... <laughs> Mari or Mary. Hey, werewolf. How's it going? It shows no signs of having been open in a very long time. What the? Where are you? I have a res clicky. Yeah. Right in the middle of that mob. Ah. Uh, I'm back now. Look. That was stupid. My bad, gentlemen. Not the first death we've had here, so not a big deal. I had, for, I had some for flame potions. As my get out of trouble thing. Oh, cool. Symbol stunning. That's nice. Wow. Getting a lot 
of damage. And, uh, that's right, it's on 10, isn't it? That'll kill my stats, but keep me alive. Restore giant relics, woohoo. Yeah, Titan's in here with me. Well, Tor, if you ah, uh, yeah, you're right. Consider Tor the <laughs> Yeah, I have the bar by myself. I have hey, it. you have to do Tor. You don't have to do the dragons, but you have to do the regular part. Three uh, different places, and I still forget to look at my health. And yes, I need pop. Also, so. I just have a hard time with, uh, for some reason, remembering to uh, look at my health sometimes to get into trying to trigger all my abilities at the right time and all that junk, and I forget to actually watch my health. So, yeah. I need everything but Madstone now, so. Jolly Lee Ranger, that's cool. You mind if I put a group up for a uh, pop then? Some, some of you need that. Okay. I always like it when people are uh, joining and playing the game for the first time. I try to hop on if I see some people streaming and sometimes they're making characters and try to help them along if I can. So we're doing pop next, huh? Come on. And now the tablet's giving me trouble in the other direction. I want prison of planes, not crag. There we go. So, this one you go to Storm's Eye, and you go around. Okay. Storm's Eye. That's awesome. Did I start following you yesterday? Maybe you were... I know I followed somebody that was new. In the last day or so. Where are we going? I need to go... No, this is right, isn't it? Yeah, you go up and around. Yeah, I know Alarvon, but I'm talking people that I don't know and haven't communicated much with. There's been several over the past week that I've started following. I know the way to pop by heart. All that. Yeah, there's a good number in, of quests and a variety of locations and 
It's a pretty big game. My cocoon just crit me for uh, 322. It's pretty good. Be a jerk like that. Die when I try to kill your fortification. Do to do, do, do doing stuff. Oh hey, look. A rare. Somewhere back there. See that thing where it doesn't want to let me in. Hey, welcome. There we go. We just did this in our static group last week, so... I'm getting more and more familiar with it, even though I don't really understand everything about it. I think we just went bottom up. It's like you go bottom up clear to get to the uh, first spheres or whatever, and then you go bottom up again to actually clear the themed rooms, the planes, to get the rest of the things, you, or if you need to activate the downstairs or something like that. Hey, Shao, can you tell me where uh, the tokens are, if they drop? The yeah. I might miss them. Yeah, I'll shout out when they happen. Get back here when I'm trying to trip you. Yet another magical barrier. Whatever was imprisoned within this chamber must have been carried. Did not get any from that champion. There's EE e. tore up. No dragons though. I usually Perfect, see right? <laughs> when people do tour on E, I usually see the no dragons. I don't know why. Are they that rough on E or no one wants to spend the time to actually do them? They just want to get the flag and be done with it. Or get the XP and be done with it, not do the extras. For a while, the guild was running the uh, hero tour over level. Nobody gets locked door. I guess not everybody's in yet. I run so slow compared to most other characters. Who wants to do the uh, the orbs? The symbol for the plane of Rizia fills this chamber with an icy okay. hue. You'll do the orbs. Holds a sharp, lingering chill. Gold key. So we need to get in that room. So I've run this maybe four times total. This will be my probably fifth time doing it. We'll see. I get the general idea, but the subtleties escape me for now. So, oh yeah, there's that uh, whole thing about which things you turn up and down before you do that. 
And is this, I think this is where you come back at the end to open the bottom or something like that. Did anyone look at the book? Yeah, he posted it. Uh, down, down, up, down. Um, the door to the control room lies shut. Bone chilling cows echoes through the room. Wow. That'd be for a bunch. Big old bag of HP. Can you stay locked on the Undying Warden, please? I don't mind the grind. Um, I kind of like. I mean, a certain amount of grind, not necessarily grinding just one quest over and over, but I like uh, try to optimize my uh, gameplay. I like our static groups doing each quest in the game once on Elite, when possible, at level. So that's fun to experience in that way and not repeat anything. Although we've had to repeat once in a while just for catching people up who missed a week or something. But other than that, I usually have the same couple of things I do on a daily basis. And I like optimizing my runs and getting the runs down, figuring out new ways to do it more efficiently. But I also get bored of that too. I would like to find another static group or two to join. That would be fun. More variety in play. But the one is nice for now. fun that way. That's kind of what we're doing. I mean, there's times we don't go in the exact order because of you know, same zone or something like that, but more or less we try to do every quest in order at level on Elite. It's been fun. It was a big shock when we hit uh, Champions for the first time. That was, whoa, different. So we had pretty much been walking through everything up to that point. All of a sudden we had to reevaluate. Ouch. I'm set up for fire resist. By default. So that wasn't a big deal. Hirsch Inferno. Oh. I'm trying to see the stats of a thing. Stop moving. Uh, you could pass it to me if you want. Creator Incineration Conflagrating 7. I can't even see what else it is. Thank you.
Yeah, that's the intelligent way to do it, I think. And of course, you can't do um, Devil Assault, right? Because it's level 412, 18 or something like that. So you can't really do that elite the first time you encounter it on the list. But uh, in some of the raids we've had problems with, like I think we had to skip Titan. We tried Titan, but we skipped it. We haven't been enough of us on. We're trying to get like the whole guild involved in that. It's been rough trying to get enough people at the right level range to do it. But we've tried it at least. We had the first part, it was the second part that was all buggy and faily. But even that was fun. Because even on this character, which is my... I've got, what, 4300 favor now? I don't have all the quests done once, and I have no other character above, I think, 15 or 16, so... This is where the uh, whirlwind guard comes in handy. I need it on this tune. Oh, I didn't see a tome. Was there a tome? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, plus three, plus four. Charisma upgrade tome. Got it. Oh yeah, second life premium. Blackhorn got a plus three to plus four charisma upgrade. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, luckily, the SO and I are first lifers in the static group, so we're way ahead in XP. There's one second life, and the rest are all third plus. And most of the rest of them are VIP. We're premium, so. Yeah, I understand that. Congrats. It's also an interesting mix of people because the quests that I've run a lot, even some of the earlier ones that I ran 12 different characters through, I. Uh, and I just want to zerg and know. I have to activate my fire stance in order to run faster. The SO hasn't played too much, so there's a lot of stuff that's just new, and then some other people haven't done a ton of low-level stuff in a while, so they forget. And, uh, it's an interesting mix of play styles. A couple people like to just go slow and roleplay and flower sniff and a couple of us like to just zerg if we know it and even if we don't just get through it move on to the next thing a lot of the time sometimes I like to slow down but most of the time I just rather get through it 
I figure I can always run it later by myself if I really want to catch everything. Wow! We only play, you know, a couple hours once a week. I want to get through it, get up higher, get into epic levels. I have to be told to slow down sometimes. Don't need to zerg through this one. Keep everybody... I'm also playing a monk, so, you know, I've got the run speed and save. Or I can run through a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is, especially at certain points. We do that sometimes. Like, hey, why don't you go do this? Okay. Some of us know what to, know what to expect. But, you know, we're playing every quest, and there's been a lot of quests that I haven't played much or skipped over when I was getting to Epic, so some of them are new to me, too. I much prefer Epic. Oh, I'm having so much more fun in Epic than I ever did in Heroic. That's why all my Heroic characters are stalled. I haven't really been playing them. It makes so much more fun in Epics. Yes, QB. I am on Thelonis at the moment. And Cormac, that's cool. I, I don't know. I think it's okay. It's an interesting mix of stuff. Now that I understand a little better, it's not bad. And we're kind of sticking together, which is good. The first time I ran this, I think everybody just split up, and I had no idea what was going on. Didn't really enjoy it very much, but this run's kind of fun. We're getting through it. Lionel. Um, somewhat. Epic Lead is very challenging. Epic Lead is what we're on now, and it's uh, definitely a lot more challenging. You gotta pay more attention. I usually, uh, Run on normal or hard, epic normal, epic hard, but uh, guild chat's going on. I should answer that in a minute here. Wow, she just opened up on me. That's silver flame pot time. I'll take the hits for that. Wow. See if I can. Get somebody up at least. Probably raise dead. Get another one out here. Ah, uh, no, not me. You find yourself in the center of a battleground as the plane of Shabarat surges forth. That's my last scroll. He's almost dead. As the plane of There's a few orbs on the ground, too. Titan, I can get you up. Never 
<laughs> Drop yourself in the room. I'm gonna go try. I got my ass handed to me on that. Yeah. I haven't been really happy with this tune on Epic Elite. At all. Yeah, it depends. On the quest, I think. Um, different monster mix sometimes, and in, inflated stats for sure. Then you add champions into the mix, and it gets really interesting. Yeah, Mary, I see what you're saying there, but. Uh, yeah, there's no such thing as lag in this game. The counterpoint to that is that. It's running as intended. I can uh, actually at least have some self healing in epics where I had none in heroics. And it was annoying, to say the least. I always had to have a cleric hireling or somebody else healing me. Because potions, of course, don't keep up. And all that, so. Alvster, it's Thelanus. I, I, I it's did. faded, but it's in the top right. I can put him on the ground. I'll put him on the ground right here. Yes, I heard that the game is pausing for, to help let us look at the uh, extreme features. <laughs> That's, I think, part of my enjoyment of epics is that I can't heal myself. If I had, you know, it's if it was a static group or, you know, even guildies, it'd be a different matter. But since I mostly pug, um, it's a real pain. Well, yeah, if you don't like to solo, then that's part of it. I enjoy soloing, um, being able to run what I want to run when I want to run it. But generally, I can find a Pug, if there's something I want to do that requires it. Or like when I do spies, I want to have a thief or rogue or RD or somebody to get the trap bonus, so there's that too. Cormac pugging is a pickup group. It means it's not a static group, which is people who play the same characters in the same group all the time. It's not a guild group, which is, you know, playing with your guildies. It's just random people that are online at the same time, basically. So there's no... Yeah, I don't know. It's a mixed bag, basically. If you hit the uh, social panel, you see the group tab. These are the pickup groups that are running right now. There's several ways to range groups, but that's the public group, basically. You can also say it for public and organized group. I've seen people say it that way. Sometimes you get an interesting mix of people when you pug versus other methods of stuff. Wow. i got to pay attention here. Hold on. I see chats going on. I will get back to it. But uh, this is a little intense. Thank you. 
sufficient artifact for himself. All right, that's better. Got some restored dragon relics. I could use that. I'm on my uh, melee. I got the uh, Epic Elite Dream Vibes of Shaw. That's cool. That's a nice drop. Uh, Cabal is next. Okay, let me look, yep. catch up with chat here. Then I'll be flagged for uh, Tor. Um, let's see. Wow, I actually have to scroll for chat. This is a good chat tonight. Let's see. Yeah, um, I'm, well, I've got six epic past lives now, but I have only one heroic. And I was able to solo some stuff. It's not easy, depending on your class and stuff. Um, obviously, casters, if you can manage your mana or spell points, um, have a big leg up. I was a fighter, and it wasn't working at level a lot during heroics. Yeah, I do that too. I, I start a quest sometimes and just put a group up and people wanted it. Uh, <laughs> that's true, Mary. It's like a box of chocolates. Yeah, my guild's pretty small and they're uh, mostly European, so we don't necessarily run weekdays at the same time. So I end up soloing a lot. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, it's fun when you log off after a couple a year plus and your guild's still there. That's why I'm sticking with this guild, because they didn't kick me. I've been in other guilds where I was out for a week or two and they kicked me. Not since the some of the changes to the guilds, but uh so let's use some elf egg. Yeah. Yeah, Sully, you really want a perfect mix, balance of uh what Mary's saying there. A little bit of self-healing, some trapping, and then melee offensive. You want good saves. At least get through the traps, even if you can't disable them. Um, Multi-classes are good for that. Like the two rogue, uh, 18 wizard is good for that kind of thing. Uh, I thought I told you to go back. So we're on to Cabal. This should be easy. Oh, that's the one where you go... Okay, you jump out over and go up there. Okay, got it. Let's see what we got. Man, I, I don't know how you solo clerics. I don't know if my cleric build is just off or what, but... I have a heck of a time running my cleric. I don't do enough damage. can hear really well. I can't do enough damage, though. Yeah, knowledge of the quest is definitely a good part of Solo, I think. Yep, Giant Hole's epic. Uh, Necropolis 4, Orchard has epic. Three Royal Cove has epic. There's a bunch of new epics. Um, epic Green Steel, Epic Veil, and Epic Chavarath are coming this year, supposedly. Uh... Uh, people have success with two up and fighting. Um, although single up and fighting is uh, the big thing, the big new thing um, with the uh, bard swashbuckler stuff happening. Bard's got a big boost to single up and fighting and are actually fairly powerful melee now, which is odd. I think, but interesting. Uh, the thing I never liked about two weapon fighting is the uh, fact you need two weapons. So everything you, every weapon you get, you need two of them. That's why I didn't care for that. I have one character that's two weapon fighter, but still way back in heroics. Uh, let's see. 
Yeah, there's some that you need other players for. I've had success in most quests with up to three hirelings. My uh, Albear, my Panther, and then a favored soul or something. But some you really need. Even that was hard on some of them. Boy, nothing's landing right now. Whoa, hello. He's saving from trips and stuns. What a jerk. Probably try to run Epic Stench to try to get that anti Great Axe piece to drop. That's the last piece of gear that I'm really looking forward to. Um, for my Epic stuff, there's a couple other things I'll have to go farm heroics for, like the Real Guard mask and such, but. As far as epic gear, I'm almost set to where I want to be. Just isn't hitting hard at 15 or 16 or wherever I am. Oh, that's so bright. You put my sunglasses on, don't play this part because this stupid dust. was always my favorite class to play in D&D &D and most role-playing games. But, uh, yeah. Probably shouldn't get any aggro on him. You need to sit down. Oh, California. Yeah, California is left. I didn't even notice. Wasn't paying attention. Ow. Maybe I'll pop over to that character after this. We can see if we can figure out what's wrong. That would be fun. For me, at least. I like builds and all that stuff. It's fun. Oh. 
Yeah, I just, I, I don't know what it is. I just can't get my cleric to do much. I thought I had based that one on a somebody's build, but I don't remember now, because during the two-year break I had, the enhancement pass came and everything got all screwed up. How does he keep dying with over a thousand hit points? Man. I understand. Ooh, that was close. That was close to me dying. Man, I hate that. Clear dust. Titan died. Well, hello. If I get the right click key to get going. Titan, you gonna take that? I thought I did a raise dead on you. Tokens anywhere? No. Check up here. Uh, Godzilla, no. Nope, nothing. I don't. Uh, I don't worry about streak. Um, I've just been hanging out at Epics, so it doesn't. I don't really. When I started, of course, I wasn't really powerful enough for Epic Elite, so it didn't matter. Now that I can sort of survive an Epic Elite, uh, there's really no point to it, I don't think, because there's not much left that I have. Uh, left to play that I can do um, on Epic that I haven't run at least once on something, so the streak doesn't matter in that instance. These guys are saving from my skills. And I haven't played Heroic in a while, so... It's certainly possible to maintain a uh, elite streak on Heroics while you're soloing. It is possible. Some of that is knowing, wow, knowing the quests, let's heal. He feared me. Which I hate when that happens. I hate being feared. Some of the things are really dislike happening to me. That was supposed to be Cocoon. Oh, why do I have him selected? Cocooning him instead of me. Try to get some good hits in there. We're slowly whittling him down. Wow, that didn't work very well at all. One big hit to kill him. Come on, there we go. A treasure bag, that's it. Uh, 
Um, I'm out of scrolls. So many needs to res Foghorn. There's Arthas. Glance back over at chat here in a second. Let me catch up to these guys. Gun looks to That's nice. Well, do you want to find this? Let's see, there he is. Where'd he go? No, not him. Him. Stupid potion. There. I do have plenty of room of blindness for some reason. Why? Champions. Uh, champion mobs have random buffs on them. They can be different resistances, uh, damage buffs, uh, true seeing, see invisible. Extra hit points. Lots of interesting stuff. They only show up in Hard and Elite. Uh, it's random. Supposedly completely random as to which ones are, but as all randomness, there's some interesting things that happen sometimes when every orange name in a room is a uh, champion. It gets interesting. Bypass fort. <laughs> this one has bypass. Oh, that's right. This one looks to, I hope. Oh, he's a boss. Never mind. He's, a, he's just a bag of hit points. Yeah, I know people, some people uh, are doing the whole epic elite streak, but. I don't have enough past lives and gear to do that for leveling. Or the patience, really. I've been doing about two weeks, I think, for epics. Epic lives, which I think is decent for me. I can do them faster. I have done one fairly fast, like within a week, but that's a lot of grinding. In a week, I don't usually have that much time. Well, yeah. Except that um, you can craft the uh, Master's Gift, like I have here. So the Augment slots are no longer epic only. But I put the Master's Gift in my slot on my Spyglass, so I just keep that equipped. Is Tor the next thing we need? One, two, three, yeah, that should be it. So you take the uh, Voice of the Master and the uh, Mantle of the World Shaper and 20 Greater Epic Tokens, is it? Over to the Epic Crafter in the 12, and you can get the Augment from that, which gives you the same XP boost, and then you can slot it somewhere instead of having to always have it on the trinket. And uh, remember to equip it, you can just keep equipping all that. See, I didn't even take those quests, I don't think. Tor is the one that's up here, isn't it? So it's handy. Since I'm doing basically grinding epic lives, I, uh, last time the cove was I in, I got this up. Prepared. I'm going to go back to the boat real quick. So I uh, got my spyglass up to 
tier three, which gave me the slot, and then I put the master's gift in the slot. So now, from 20 to 20, I just keep it equipped, and uh, I always have the XP bonus on. It's handy that way. No, I wasn't playing during that time when Threnal was the big thing. They've changed Coil now that you don't even have to save him. They made him easier and easier, and then finally they made it so you, it's just bonus XP if you save him. You don't have to. So Threnal is not difficult at all now, even to solo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's really no challenge to it anymore. Well, they made it. They made him more durable, and then they made it so you could knock him out, so he didn't run off and get himself killed. So everybody just knocked him out and visited him and called it good. But definitely that was enough. So they nerfed him again, and now you don't even have to save him. Yeah, I don't have this on E yet, so this will be fun. Timmy Hirelings auto heal him now. Nice. So yeah, it's pretty much just a cakewalk. Not a big deal at all. Okay. I had that on all that last night when my eyes were all red. It didn't help that much. I don't know. I have successfully completed Crucible exactly once. I've otherwise tried to, and that was with the Guildy or two that knew how to do it. And I've tried to solo it a couple times and keep failing. So. Yeah, that's what I use the Owlbear and Panther for. Since I don't have a pet otherwise. Did you think because we let you in you could pass freely here? Stand in the center where I can see you. I thought I'd been here being epic before. Have I not? It's odd. Huh. 
I just got a monster manual hit that was unexpected. Oh, sit down. What do you want, cat? Well, come up here if you come and come up here. Just don't let my mouse hand. Silly cat. Yeah, that's a good build for soloing. That's what I play on my static group on Thursdays, and man, is it a blast to play. I have so much fun with that character. I build it based on uh, LSD 37's uh, Heroic Challenge Farmer, and uh, I use it for that sometimes, but I'm also just using it for my static group character. And it is so much fun to play with that character. Just tear through stuff, dodge stuff, walk through traps, and then detour back to the beginning and do it all over again. It's awesome. Love that character. Love it. Solo Tempest Mine. <laughs> Somebody was trying to trick there, it evidently has been patched out. Who died? Somebody else got him. I need to buy more raised dead crew. Scrolls. I don't remember when I actually started playing. Um, sometime after I went free to play. I'm not sure how soon after I went free to play. That's when I started, and then I took. I didn't get into it right at first. So I took a break for I don't know how long. Then came back in and got really into it for a while. And then took another break. And then got really into it again. And uh, when Cove came out, I remember that because it was new and exciting. And I, I don't think it was right when it came out, but one of the later times I completely burned myself out on Cove. Just completely. Crystal Cove stuff. I was like, oh, this gear I can get and all this stuff I can build. And it's all new to everybody and everybody's running it and it's awesome. I figured out how to run torches and got decent at that and started doing that a lot. And I just did Cove, 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 Cove. Until I was sick of the game entirely. And I stopped playing. And then Menacing the Dark came out and pre-ordered it, and then never did play it. And I was on a break for two-ish years. 
and just came back earlier this year. Well, end of last year. Well, earlier this year. I'm still thinking it's 2014, but yeah. Early 2014, late 2013, something like that. I came back. This is the longest stretch I've been playing in quite a while. Um, I always missed Maybar, which, by the way, Maybar is dead. Maybar is not coming back, as far as I know, from what they've yep. said. Oh, he needs to sit down. There we go. There is a bit of lag in there. Um, they're replacing it with something else, which is probably the mimic event they mentioned. And then. Uh, there's a fall seasonal event that's coming. Well, you got to remember, at the time Cove came out, I was still first life, and my highest character was like level 10. So I didn't have a lot of the gear and stuff. And Cove was like, oh, wow, this is gear that's way better than what I have. And all this other stuff that's twink gear, like green steel, I don't have, can't, don't have access to, can't get. I was also um, premium wasn't VIP, so I didn't have all the adventure packs, so it was really a big thing for me to have Cove available. Plus it was new and everybody was kind of learning at the same time, and it was... It was a good thing at the time. Now I run it just to top off some of the other stuff, and like the newer items like the Flask of Rome on this character I want to finish off next time Cove comes around. I, I never played the game straight for more than probably six to nine months at a time before. This is the longest continuous time I've been playing. Yeah, Timmy, that's kind of what I was except that when I played uh, well, I played 12 different characters up to levels and stuff different levels, and then uh, got distracted by some other game or some life event happened or something and I stopped playing, so I usually start around this time of year, around the holidays and just after, do the ice games and uh, where is that? I don't usually do this side. Oh, I don't need to be down here. What am I doing? I'm getting lost is what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, no champion, how about that? There we go. So yeah, I'm kind of bummed I never got to do my bar, even though I understand it was a huge lag fest. I never got to do it. Plus, of course, I want the loot, but the loot Stability is going to be dropping in the Mimic event that's replacing it, so I'll still have a chance at the loot. But yeah, I would start, start playing around this time, and then I would be done by the time Maybar came around. I'd be off doing something else. I think I've been going a year solid at this point, so this is as long as I've played continuously. You will be able to get the items from uh, Maybar in the Mimic event, though. And the other thing is, you know, my the guild I'm in now, the static, M Mimic have a static group. will have the uh, the Maybar items in it as well. Not sure about those potions, though. But I think uh, Cortex Ben confirmed that with uh, Severlin. No, it doesn't. 
Uh, it's an overlay for, in OBS, so I'm looking at a, the laptop next to mine, or my other laptop, however you want to say it, to uh, read chat and monitor the stream. I like having it there for replay, though, um, and then so that people can keep up with chat. Well, the, especially on uh, mobile devices where it's kind of hard to see unless you have it maximized, but then you can't see chat. Definitely like it better to be able to show it on stream than not. Master stands with maddened eyes, casting an elaborate spell. You did not have to come here. I'd love it if I get Twitch chat in game. That'd be awesome. Oh, mainly this is how I arrange stuff. Skeleton's got my number. Oh, there's some lag going on here. Sorry, I got concentrated a minute on this fight here. I hate having to pop this over flame potions, but it's the only thing that heals me for a decent amount of damage. I do notice the healing amp on the potions for sure. Because they're healing for me for like, what, 500? I'm only supposed to do 250. Definitely noticing that. Now that we're concentrated a bit more, maybe we can step up my damage. Nope. Yeah, 475 is close enough to 500. I'm getting a hit for 118 a shot, it still doesn't last long. I was almost dead. I was in cap. Whew. Several close things happen here. Oh, now they're all around. Oh, hello. Time for potion. Step back a minute. Why do I have giant skeleton aggro? Oh, there's a champion. That's nice. Two champions. Yeah, that's going to work well. Hopefully somebody can kite those over there. I think it's more important to take him down. Step up damage again. Should just about have him. There we go. So we have a D-door so we can get out of here, or are we actually going to fight these guys? Looks like we're fighting. Doesn't help that they keep leashing. Door. 
Let's do that in reverse order because we did the. Uh, or... All right. Thanks for the group, guys. Thank you for helping me flag. Did the raid first and then flagged for it. <laughs> kind of funny the way we did that. I'll type the comms, I guess. All right. I'm going to go back to the ship and repair and all that. And then I'm going to get it up and stretch a minute, get a drink of water, and then I'll uh, be back. And maybe I'll go on another character and see what we can do over there. Or we'll just see what's going on. Get this capped. We'll see how I feel when I get back. Epic Tempest Spine would be fun, I think. I think the end game should be Epic Orthos, though. I think that would be hilarious. The hardest thing in the game is Misery's Peak. That would be hilarious. So I still have about 400k to level, which is not a big deal. I can knock that out in an hour, probably. Do the usual two spies, two whiz kings, and that'll get me right there. But I'm not in a rush to do that tonight. It's not a necessity. I'll do a quick promo here in a second here. I'll just do it now. I'm going to do a quick promo. So here is the schedule for this channel. The normal schedule. Titan, I still haven't sw swapped you in Shroud of Palooza. I keep not doing that. I will do it at some point. But anyway, uh, Sundays at 5, Titan is here on Thalanus. Minion Monday, Blue Queen on Wayfinder at 4 p.m. Eastern. Me on Tuesday uh, on Thalanus at 5. Damsel Didia, Wednesdays at 2 a.m. Eastern. I guess I should specify that's Wednesday. Um, I put it in the right place. Now there it is. Um, yeah, I think they went last week, so I think they're off this week. I forgot to check on that. Uh, then Wednesday, Cordovan does his weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream, which is the big Q&A session with him and sometimes developers. And then uh, the fling, which is the static group with Cordovan, uh, Bonnie, and others. Titans on Friday at noon on Thalanus again. Saturday, Shrouded Palooza, 2 p.m. Uh, Bonnie runs however many shrouds she can fit in, was it two, three hours, something like that. This week it will be on Thalanus, so you'll see Titan and I there for sure. And then Saturday, raid night, 7 p.m. Eastern, Blue Queen again on Kaneth this time, doing raids, which is something I also want to, I want to get into a regular raid group too, as well as a static group. And then more of me, I do have my own Twitch channel that I stream on as well. You can see archives of these streams where I host DDO stream and other games and other quests in DDO and stuff uh, on my YouTube. I archive them all there. They're also on Twitch for a while, but YouTube is a long-term archive. Uh, I have a site um, you can see there, and then there, I also show my Steam profile. I'm also on Twitter and other stuff, but I don't usually interact too much on there. So back to the game here. I'm going to take a quick break, stand up and stretch a minute, get uh, refill my glass of water, and uh, be back to do some more stuff. So don't be long.
And I'm back. Just put my headset back on. Yeah, um, that is why I got this new headset. I can highly recommend Steel Series, the Siberia V2. Uh, heat orange is what I have, and they are so comfortable. Um, it's amazing the difference. I had the uh, what were they? The Razor Kraken Pro, I think, before that, and I thought they were comfortable, but even those after a while, um, I think it was only after an hour or two got really uncomfortable. These I can have on for longer and they're much more comfortable. The ear cups are bigger and uh, just like the way they fit better, the headband is uh, stretchy and overall I just like this a lot better than I did the Razor Kraken. Uh, Mist Wolf. Werewolf leaving. Alright. Um... Oh yeah, I also did want to say, I, maybe it's view, visible down there, I kind of, when I redid stuff, made that hard to see. So, let's do that. Nope, that's not enough. Let's do that. That's still not enough, wow. Uh, that's better. I do have an email address if you're watching this archived and it's not live and you can't chat with us. Uh, there's an email address, ddostreamqa7 at cmorgan.com. If you want to send an email and next time I'm on, I'll address that. That's annoying when the drivers won't install Titan. I had a little bit of problem with the drivers for this, but I think it's been worked out mostly. Although I did have that problem on Saturday when I was trying to stream Steam games that didn't work. I think it was a conflict between my uh, wireless Xbox 360 adapter and the headset. Something was crashing and killing the sound. Uh, I haven't repaired yet, so let's do that. So yeah, we do appreciate follows, by the way, on this channel and personal channels. Um, And if you follow on my channel, um, which, you know, you can do by clicking on my name there in chat, this follow notification should pop up on this channel. I think I have it set up for that. That's what I was going to email Cordovan about. I forgot. Let's see if he'd set that something like that up for all the streamers. So I'm part of the community stream team, which is a bunch of players that stream on the official DDO channel. There are still plenty of space left in the schedule if you'd like to do that. And, uh, contact Cordovan. There's a thread in the DDO forums about it. So let me switch over to a different character real quick. I was talking earlier about my cleric. Let's see. Level 16. This is sort of a static group character I play with my SO. Uh, I'm the cleric. The SO is barbarian. But I don't do much besides heal. It's probably a bear. As far as damage goes. Blah. I thought I'd upgrade my weapon. Let's see. What have I got? Lag is what I have. Alright, cool. Yeah, so... I have loot gen. I don't have anything named weapon-wise. First lifer. I did get a wall of wood over here, which helps a bit for the healing amp and the devotion. 
that. And I've got a fire break for armor, which helps a lot. So, yeah. I just don't do... Yeah, I've got 1d8 plus 12 damage. It's nothing. I don't hit very hard at all. I'm used to my dwarf fighter axe proficiencies. Yeah, I had a headset kind of like that before Titan. And uh, that's why I went and got the Razor Kraken, because I wanted something more comfortable. The good thing about the Razor Kraken was that it blocked out a lot of sound. So external sound was blocked out very well. Which can be a good or bad thing. Um, but yeah, I didn't really like that. I uh, had a Logitech, I don't remember the model number, cheap Logitech headset, which I liked because of the mute button. That's where, that's the other reason it didn't keep the Krakens, is because it didn't have an inline mute. I really like having that on the cord where I can just mute everything at once and not have to worry about whether I'm in OBS or the game or TeamSpeak or wherever I am. I can just mute everything at the mic level. So yeah, I've got a decent number of spell points for level, but I do not have good fighting ability. I guess I don't really have any weapons proficiencies or anything to help with weapons, damage or anything. Pretty much a heal bot when it comes down to it. I'm pretty much a heal bot. So, this is definitely not a solo character. I, like I said, I play it mostly in duo. I'd like to get that character to epics, though. At least I'd have something else at epic. I want to have at least keep one character at epics or the events and stuff, such I can have somebody at epic level to do. And I could have sworn I said log out. Yeah, I did. Games doing that doesn't want to let me log out thing. It does sometimes. There it goes. All right. So I've got my uh, Hagglebot bard. Yeah, Titan, I have a G13, and it has the LCD display, and I like the DDO um, display, but I also really like the OBS one. So when I'm streaming, I can see stats about the stream, and I can get the mic right from that. That's pretty cool, too. And there's also a TeamSpeak plugin for it, which is awesome. So I, I don't know if XSplit has a plug in or not, but you might want to look for that, because you might be able to do some stuff uh, with XSplit with uh, having that key display for your keyboard. So this is my Hagglebard bank character. As you can see, the big thing is charisma here. Uh, and my Haggle is 54 at the moment. I did respec uh, into Swashbuckler, so I've got some of the Swashbuckler stuff now, which hopefully will help because I was not doing much damage. I was basically buffing the Vardy and Piking. Yeah, Titan, I can't show you because obviously you can't see my uh, G13, but on the LCD screen on my G13, I'm seeing stats from OBS. So I, I'm guessing XSplit probably has something similar where you can get a plug-in so you can display XSplit stuff on the keyboard LCD. Hey Blackstorm, how you doing? So yeah, and this is also my crafter. So I've got okay crafting levels. Um, next time there's a crafting bonus weekend, if I don't miss it, 
because I'm on vacation or something, then I've got that. I'm gonna pump those up, hopefully get them over 100. And uh, yeah, this is crafting and storage. So you'll see a lot of gear here just stored. stored. This is where I have all the hireling folders and the cookie jar and all that stuff to store all that stuff away. And the bank's full of junk too, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's what I need to do on this character. I need to finish a House K favor to get the other bank tab. It's kind of funny I haven't done that yet. Let's see what's open as far as that goes. I'm over level for a lot of the house K favor now. What color are my keys? Oh yeah, I have to see everything set to red. So my razor mouse is, has customizable color and it's red. My G13 has customizable color, it's red. My headset, unfortunately, it is not customizable and it is orange. I didn't want to pay extra for the customizable one. Uh, these were on sale and I just went with these. I needed them then. So, picked them up Micro Center. So they sort of almost kind of match. Um, I really like red because it doesn't kill your night vision and I like playing in the dark a lot when the SO doesn't make me leave a light on in the background. Anyway. So there's that character, and then I'll show you my monk real quick, because we were talking about that earlier. It's so much easier to get through and solo the uh, challenges with this monk. Man, it's so good. Love this build. I had a uh, XPS 14 inch laptop that had customizable key colors and I had it on red too. It was all nice. Peanut Soup McMuffin. Yes. Also, if you look at the top right corner of the screen, it's the full honest is up there, although somewhat transparent. But yes, it is Thelonis. Yeah, on the uh, Alienware. No, it was an Alienware. It wasn't XPS. It was an Alienware. Sorry. The Alienware, you could customize different regions of the keyboard to be different colors. It was kind of neat. I just went all red because that made the most sense to me. I like setting everything to red. Same color. So this is a good... Let's see what's up. This is my static group character, so I'm not really going to run anything, but uh, yeah. So this is based on LSD's uh, Challenge Farmer Heroic build. So if you look that up in the forums, you'll see this build. It works so well. I, it's just such a fun build to play. Um, you basically go concentration, balance, and swim. Jump and swim. You have enough points for all that, I believe. And uh, yeah. It's it's awesome. It's so much fun to play. You walk right through stuff. You've got decent saves. Um, you've got greater heroism built in. You've got D door built in. Where is it? There it is. It's just all around fun, fun build to play. Got decent saves. Uh, yeah, it's just a blast. Especially in the static group, it's a blast to play. I love it. Need to move that over there. I'll do that Thursday. So yeah, um, this character has a couple extra slots, I think. Gear is decent, not great. Um, I got some must-haves. Cove hat. I need to go back and look at the gear list on that build to make sure I'm got everything that I have. 
and then try to farm the stuff like that's just that and more than that because of resistance not because of the wisdom of course and deadly there and that should be dish loot gen stuff see I've got some more slots to fill out to get all the gear where it needs to be but I have a start on it and play that every Thursday and it's a blast to play highly recommend that build if you got a slot for it and then I've got a bunch of characters I don't play anymore or some I've already played. Like I've, I've got it like a level one or two that, you know, somebody I know joins. Hey, you want to play DDO? Sure, let's play. And they, they play once and you get them through part of Corthos and like, oh, I got to go. And then they never come back and never play again. So it's double logout night. So, yeah. There we go, finally back to the screen. So I've got a Rogue One Wizard 6 that I've never played. I've got a Shattercry I've never played. I rolled that up for some reason, I never played it. I wanted to start playing, trying out the Iconics, I rolled that up, never played it. Static Group character, I th think... No, that's my Arcane Archer that I've played a little bit. This I rolled up to play with somebody who played like once. This was the art I actually played for a little bit, had fun with, but just never really got back to. My cleric I play with the SO. SO's Barbarian. That's my bank character. This is my rogue, which I ran uh, early on. That's a legit level 12. That's not a, uh, what do you call it, veteran status level 12. Um, last time I ran that, I got so much hate from people that I just didn't really want to run it anymore. <laughs> I'm, I have been getting a little bit of gear into the shared bank to get over to that character and maybe try running it again. Because I do like playing the rogue, but people are just jerks sometimes to the rogues. Especially if you blow a box, say, or something. Look, it's a first life character. It's not really geared out. What do you expect? Sorry. Um, this is the first monk that was based on some build, um, old build that I just sort of went my own way with after the enhancement pass. That was fun to play too, but not nearly as fun as the other one. This is a Tempest build, I believe, that I played a couple times. And then this is my primary character, and then this is a, my only true uh, magic user build. And that's a legit level 12 that uh, haven't gotten back to playing. I bring it out once in a while, and it's such a different play style that I just don't play it very often. It's fun for a difference, but uh, I get stuck in the 12 14 area on most characters and just get stuck there. Don't know what to run and don't really like giant hold and just don't get to run a lot of stuff so that's why I'm sticking with the epic where I'm comfortable know the quests that I run normally and have a lot more fun playing your mileage may vary but that's just my experience so that said you know if anybody has anything in those other level ranges on Thelanus and wants to run something this week or another week that's fine I don't mind switching to other characters and running with people that can be fun I think at the moment though I'm going back to my epic character Shalana and uh, see what we can do there. See about getting level 28 maybe tonight or maybe running something interesting depending on what's up at the moment. And peanut soup that's funny that I do the same thing. I can see, I can tell when people are on Thelonis because you look at the groups and the names, you're like, hey, wait a minute, I know those are guild names or something. Tips you off. All right, so what do we have in the way of LFMs? What? Not really. I would much rather run this uh, Temple of Death Room, actually.
There's two people and it's in progress on EN. That looks like more fun than doing Follow Truth again, because I have to tell you, I really was impressed with Follow Truth. Oh my gosh, lag. Uh, Cube. Yeah. That's fine. I don't mind running that. Let's see if I can catch this death. Well, there's only two of them. Probably get. There's probably not a big deal to get in there before it's done. Let's see. Make sure I'm not flagged on death arm. All right. Hey there. We just got to pass the second area. Working our way through. Wait a minute. We're going to go left at the first set of puzzles to do the jump. Oh god, the jump. You can probably watch me fail the jump a bunch. Yeah, that's a good idea to use a planner like that. Uh, death worm is Arcanaros's lair. This will be the first time I've run this since putting on my level 27 gear, I think. So I should be able to make a better showing this time. What? I, it's not on timer. What the heck? Did I turn it in? Maybe I didn't turn it in. Crap. Quest is showing me that it's not on timer, but it's not letting me in. Or I didn't take it. That's the other problem. Okay. Well. I didn't mean to auto run. Why are you auto running? I didn't. Uh, let's try this again. All right. No, I don't need a bypass. I just need to remember to take the quest before I try to join it. All right, no problem. Plenty of time. Just when you get to the uh room with the two portals. Take the left one. Take the left portal, okay. Uh, yeah, see, I don't know this quest very well at all, so... Yes. I know not to go in here. And then I go left. Looks different than last time. Don't tell me it's jump. Yeah. Awesome. It's jump. Everybody gets to watch me fail. That's awesome. Does anybody have a good strategy for getting this jump stuff down? 
Okay, I'm missing the easy stuff now. I can't even get the easier part of the bar going. I am trying to get there. Uh. Nope. Ah. It is Super Mario here. I understand how to get up to here, and then this is the part where I go, what? How the heck do you do this? Nope. I've gotten close once, I think. your reticle is not aimed towards the wall, it's straight across to the pillar of the far side. And just basically you're gonna jump and hold down W in order to get to the wall of W. You'll just run across them. When you're running bold. Keep a hold of the W the whole time. Don't let go. Here, and we need out and over a little bit to this spot. Mm. Nice. There you go. That That's much easier. The way I was trying to do it. Hey, Vantron. Awesome time. If it's still going, I'll uh, join after this. Perhaps. This is all mirror stuff. Well, that's rude. I think there's a safe spot up near the steps that somewhere. Yeah, up here. This is a safe area where you won't get hit by the dragon. But I can kill trash. That's easy enough to do. Makes me feel useful. Just keep spamming that on me, that's cool. Wow, something just added up real fast. Alright. Yeah, 
need to throw a shield on here shortly. Oh yeah, I forgot to say I had to make a mid earlier. Oops. It's kind of rude of me. Well, if we want to get a heroic party together, um, we can do that. Just finish this raid, which might take a little while. There's only four of us at the moment in this raid. So... This is kind of slow anyway, because the mirror puzzle is really a one-person job, but it takes a while. This is the quickest raid anyway. But if you haven't seen it before, it's a bit interesting. I've done it three or four times now and I'm still not exactly sure all of what I'm doing. I've especially got a bunch of characters in the 10 to 12 range. Uh, I've got, what was that, 14 and 16 as well? My 16 is not going to level at the moment though, because that's a semi static character.
more interesting once we get, get past the mirror puzzles and into the actual fighting the shadow dragon part. It's much more interesting at that point. That's right, yeah. guys. Come up here. Maybe. What? Hey, Red Riding. And it's another mirror puzzle. Okay, I'm starting to understand what people are saying about this quest there. You know, one mirror puzzle cool something different something new but to keep doing the same mirror puzzles in the same quest is just a little much I hear a hag somewhere oh, there she is Pretty sure I hit cocoon. There we go. Whoa. Almost sat in the light and killed myself. That would have been funny. So last time I did this raid, I couldn't make the jumps, and the leader said, All right. Does he, you can't make the jump, it's time for you to jump in the light and kill yourself so I can take your stones. So that's how I got past the jump puzzle. Is the, uh... Raid leader carried my stone past it. Even they had problems with it. Well, that, there's not much to do. If you're not the person doing the puzzle, I mean, what else are you supposed to do? I'll give it this over Fall of Truth, at least it feels like a raid. I just did Fall of Truth the first time and it did not feel like a raid at all. It felt more like a quick challenge.
maybe that was just because the group was that good at it and they had, had it all down and everything, but for my first experience I was expecting something a little more epic than it turned out to be. Yeah, the monsters were giant, but... Alright, let's see if we can help with that. Just trying to stay out of the way here. Hey, 5.1k. That's a good hit. I like hits like that. That's fun. are going to get fun in here. I didn't even know you could turn this. Huh. Nope, got another. Okay, that's hidden. Made it a little bit easier. Jeez. Alright, so. I had negative level just before I got over into this. Next one, let's go. Oh, yeah, we gotta do the bone dude. You know what? Let's kill this guy. I'm gonna make sure we, uh, he'll sacrifice the uh, other undead dude, so make sure clear having those out before we get into the. Hello, lag. How are you? Hey. No, it's laser tag. I haven't seen laser tag in a while. Okay, cool. We gotta take out the flood shooters first before you kill him. Yeah, I just make a big deal. Alright, move onward. What was that? Nothing. Yeah, it's just mirror puzzle after mirror puzzle after mirror puzzle. And there's a helmed horror over there. Behind that pillar. I can't imagine serially, serially running this uh, raid over and over again. It has got to be boring. This will be my third or fourth time running it. And because it's been, you know, several days between each, it's not been bad, but... No, it doesn't. Very nice. It's 
one of those that looks neat and it has some neat elements, but the implementation just ends up not being as fun as it should be. Kill trash by some mirrors, rotates a bunch of mirrors. Kill trash with some mirrors, rotates a bunch of mirrors. Really, really Super Mario, Super Duper Marioing. Or the trap room, or what? Is there a stoplight room I've heard? I haven't seen that yet. And uh, yeah, just keep doing the same thing over and over. That's. Not that interesting. The scale is right. I mean, it feels fairly epic and raid like. But, uh, yeah, you're just turning a lot of mirrors. Hey, okay. Or waiting for somebody else to do it, which is worse. The third floor, just got past and yeah, the, the end part is pretty good with keeping people engaged. If you have different roles and different things for people to do, that works, but this uh, multiple mirror things is a bit much. Really, if there was one of these was changing a tile puzzle, even, it would be better. Alright, we're going to open the portal. Yeah, I only have a t tier 2 at the moment, which I just finished making the other day. And s the way I play, tier 3 just doesn't seem to be something I'm going to worry about. I guess I didn't need to do that. He doesn't have enough hit points for that. Oh well. There's a shrine coming up. I know that before the end. We have here another Helm door. Yeah, I know I can do better. Um, I'm not in Dance of Flowers right now. That would help with some base damage. But uh, having Tier 2 Thunder Forge helps quite a bit. That's the reason I wanted to go ahead and get it, because I, you know, I don't stay at 28 to make a Tier 3 worth it. But Tier 2, I definitely spend some time at 26 and 27, where running some of this harder stuff, that makes a big difference having the extra bit of stuff on it. I have the Dragon's Edge and... Um, what's it called? First Degree Burns, that's what it is. And I've got a Meteoric Star Ruby and the Ruby Eye of Erosion. To help with some AoE stuff. Oh, there's Californius again. Saw him earlier when we were doing uh, Fall of Truth flagging. Hello. I am pretty happy with my damage at this level. I know it can be better, but... It's still decent. Uh, left. Jump puzzle. Oh, I must get turned.
Look at that. Hey, Bangland, if you oh, want to just follow me. That... If I could have got that oh, just slightly earlier, that would have been awesome. Come out right as they spawn and all of them get knocked on their butts. That would be fun. Jumping light. First time getting the puzzles, I'm butchering in a little bit. A lot of it getting there. If you guys know it, feel free to jump in. You're hurt my feelings. I will when I get there. Hopefully, you'll have them all done by then, though. That's how I prefer. Yeah, almost done. Almost done. There's another run of them. Wow, that was close. We're not at the boss yet. I think we're on the last of the mirror puzzles. Something like that. So it'll be a while. Still. Although we're almost at full group, so... Yeah, it's okay. it should be fine after that. No, it's just it doesn't send it to the crystal up There we go. And there you go. Yeah. Hey, Banewin, do you have abundant step? Okay, so just jump off and then abundant step to that platform. Like that. Okay, awesome. Alright, in this next one, we are gonna go. To do the. Left, to the red light, green light one. No, we don't move when it's, um... Yeah, like, I don't know how to do the puzzles on the gravity. Uh, I can... Green. Okay, Banewin, did you see how I did that? Jump to the top. There's two options. You hit the lower one, you just gotta hit the top one. Where I'm standing. Okay. Split up here, make sure you don't move unless it's green. I'll pick the west. Let's call it out. We all come back. Let's stop me. I'll get you. What? As long as it's green, you can move, otherwise, don't move. You can swing, you just can't move. Maybe out there. Everybody on the... Right, make sure. Did it open? Anybody out there can see if it opened or not? I moved. Is this one meant by open? I have no idea what's going on here. I've not done this one before. You just gotta... You guys who... We're still in the middle and just need to say whether the barrier opened or not. It's open. You guys can get that now. So if you have spell absorption and red light, green light, you can put on to the little state both death. Thank you, got it. Uh, somebody, somebody res or get his phone. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess I'm staying now. here. Finding a helm tour yeah, and about so two helm tours and battle ranger. Awesome. Over on back there, he can grab you. Isn't he? There's nobody around here at all. There's there's me and the long. The other guys are, are aren't really on us. Right, uh, they're up there. There we go. Jerson's right there. You mind throwing us a raise there, Jerson? I need one too here in a second. Yeah, it was overall three helm horrors and a battle rager. Everybody, everybody should just stick together on Thank this you. and fight the mobs and run off. Yeah, hit points there. Please, leave a tag, you hit points. I'm trying to think of what I can do you, uh, close wounds. Well, well, laser tag's right there. You just throw a heal on me. Yeah, I don't have any healing spells. Oh, you don't have any healing spells, okay. There we go. I've got closed wounds. Healing That's springs it. work. Uh, that worked. Alright, so we're going to move from the starting point. We're going to move north here. So when it's green, move north, go to the corner and stop. It turns. Right. This moving. is very different. Green move. Annoying, but different enough that it's not like there you go. Moving up. horrible. It's just different. Enough. Stop. Yeah. When when the light goes red, you stop moving, or you're, or you're dead. Where's Shalana? I got it. She's right there, but. Ah. A pretty nice heal. This red light, green light thing. It's definitely interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna switch up top. Battle rages are very annoying. In the middle of all this. Take out the 
clean, clear up the trash. Flag. Yeah, what up? Oh, this is where we lack some flowers. I'm gonna keep this group here. Where we lock people out, so there's nobody's behind us here. And yet, we drop the elf down. Alright, yeah, go through the portal. And try it out. Let's get some buffs, we need true same, um, freedom of movement. Both of which I already have on me, so there's no big deal there. I'll load up true seeing. just let me know who needs it. I'll take it. And I'll take the bomb, I'll get the bomb. Right there. Alright, so Hefer, let's see, who wants to tank the dragon? Oberon or Heifer? I've got true seeing on my swag glass, and I've got the Orcus Privateer's boots for the freedom movement, so not doing good. Let's have a Helena, I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so soft. You know, let me check my volume. I don't believe any rate to go off without lag. Were you soloing? <laughs> Just raids particularly have lots of lag, usually. I don't right, know. <laughs> Alright, so laser tag will be on the battle ragers. If you don't hit the battle ragers, you're only going to be hitting either shadows or the skeleton archers or the cultists. You don't hit the battle ragers, let laser tag get him, kite him, he's going to drop him off the edge basically. Heifer is going to be tanking the dragon in the, the east or the west, away from the wall, away from the, you know, on the side where we enter, whatever that is. Um, east. 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 Alright, we're on. We will leave. Hmm. So long, let's leave you in the center, helping out if there's any heals and cleaning up cultists. And let's see, who should be with you? Uh, California? Yeah. Over on, why don't you stay in the center with, and take out um, the trash with oh, they did? alone. I'll uh, type it. Alright. I can hear you fine, by the way. There you go. That makes it a little more difficult than if the rages are beat down out the and out. Out. Shadows are going to come out. We take the shadow to the center, other than Heifer, who's going to have aggro on the dragon. And then when you kill the shadows, you'll see a uh, portal come up on the ground. You need to take that portal, and then you're going to go immediately to the left when you enter. And then we're going to kill a beholder and a whore, and then I'll tell you what to do after that. Only people that aren't going to be taking the portal are laser tag, long, overrun, and Heifer. All right, let's see. Let's let's go. Let's do it. So we'll, we'll work on the trash while um, Heifer gets gets good aggro. He's gonna bring it over to the uh, east. If you do, uh, if you do Aren't get a you? battle rager on you, um, let me know or just bring it to the west. Either one, and I will get it off you. Yeah, it just means fix your sound bang. 
because you, you're the only one that's not hearing him correctly. Alright, don't touch the battle ragers, get the cultists. And the archers. So Flabby, you should be on the dragon, you're pulling them to the east. Hmm. Interesting, Helena. This is like, yeah, my third or fourth or something like that run, I don't remember. So, I don't have too much experience with it. That was the first time I saw the red light, green light puzzle. I hadn't seen that before. I'd seen the trap room and the jump, but not that. I've never been into the shadow bubbles to All try right, to find the flat let's go ahead and uh, beat down the dragon a bit. Remember, we've got Cologne and Oberon on Crash. Beat down the dragon, stand to the side, not on its ass, because the tail looks pretty nasty. He gets down to about half health, and that's when the shadows come, and we'll all go to the center except for Flabby. Or Pepper. I could have used this explanation the first time I did this. It would have made more sense. Yeah, don't kill all the shadows when they come out. We're just going to kill one and just when you see the portal jump through it, don't kill anymore. You can just leave them. We can get more, but it's easier if you don't. Alright, here we go. Shadows to the center. So long, comes down on, comes down on the mound. Damn. Alright, watch for the portal on the ground. Alright, portal's up on the shadow remains. And she keeps going through go immediately to the left. I'm gonna kill a beholder and a horror. So the ranger is in that Okay, I missed the bubble. I got Confused as what was going on there. Okay. If now the dragon's on here. you, stay on the, stay on the. Don't go through shadowy remains if the dragon's on you. All right. So there's a portal here. We're gonna go one at a time. Overon's gonna go first. He's gonna beat down the phylactery. And then let's see. If done. We, we're, we just go one at a time, so rinse and repeat. You gotta wait for him to be done. Once he's done, then I'll send another person through. And then until we get the correct one. Random. We've gotten it on the first before, and sometimes taken like 15. So as soon as he says he's out, go ahead, Alondra, you go in and take down that phylactery. Let us know if you need help with the phylactery. Yeah, I, I kind of get that part of it. It was the I never done the shadow. Actually, gone in the shadow bubble before, so that's the part I was confusing. Oh, the real one. That's awesome. That's great. All right, so Jarson, you're here with me. Pick up one of these uh, things here. Don't go in there. Come back here, Jarson. Pick up one of these little whatever they're called shards. Pick up a shard and go back to the portal and put it in one of the braziers. We all have to do that at this point, so 
we need more do we have shadows? Dragon on him. Take him to the other side. And he's blown off the edge. Who's tanking him? Take him to these. Alright, there's more shadows to bring him to the center. Everybody's gonna take a portal as it you know, once the shadow dies. Take that shadow rem rem remnant. Once we get one here, pick up one of the things and come back. All right. Go through. Got it at the time. Yeah, that was pretty good. I've seen that happen. Like that. Pick a shard and go back. You can only carry one, so pick up one and come back, put it in a brazier. Okay, now I understand that part a little better. So I mean, I understand the concept of the searching for the factory, but I've never been in the part, other part for that part. Oh, that's about all right. What the hell am I doing? With it? I'm sorry, heck. Need one more. No, that's it. I think we got Hi, all. kitten. Yes, we do. All right, so here's the next part. We've got two. Uh, there's two switches over here. So we'll put. Um, like a firewall on the gonna, back room. Yeah, Alondra's going to drop the firewall. There's one in the north east and one in the northwest. So we need somebody to pull those levers when we drop, as soon as we drop the dragon. The dragon we have to drop right on top of the mound in the center. And we have to pull the levers at the same time. So we're going to have Jarsoon's going to be on the north, I'm oh, sorry, the south southeast lever and let's see what time is stream isn't it uh, uh, laser tag will put you on the northeast lever wait no not laser tag he's 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 kind of stuff sorry about that um shalala -la -la is a ding dong do where shalala -la, you're gonna be on this one over here northeast yeah and we're gonna tell you, pull, you're gonna see some orange letters on the screen. As soon as you see those, you're gonna pull it, but we're gonna tell you when. We gotta beat him down in the center first. Just soon's gonna be doing the same thing on his. Right at this point, we need to be taking out the cultists. We need to be get, beating down the dragon. The dragon needs to be beat down in the center. So bring him over to the center of California. We're gonna kill him so when you got him targeted, his, his white circle is in the center. Okay. Set up. I'm gonna start casting firewalls and lever grab aggro for the guys that. All right, all the everybody should be in the center at this point, except for the lever pullers, and Alondra. Pull them back. You don't have them in the center. Okay. Get ready. Yeah, it looks like they're using the firewalls to draw aggro away. He's getting about 20%. Once he's down, you're going to see orange letters on the screen. That's when you're going to pull the levers. So don't wait for us to tell you. Don't pull him off the mound. Come back over here, Hepper. Get him on the mound. Pull him back on the mound. There you go. There he Don't pull, don't hit him when he's off the mound. All right, get him now. Battered from your assault. All right, do it. Pull it. Pull the levers. The drag Arguel Larasa braces her shadowy form. Took too long. Pull the Took way too long. He has to pull over this busy see the orange on there. So anyway, we'll do it again. We'll beat him down again. No big deal. I thought I did. We don't have somebody with the AOE down on them. Shadows. 
Yeah, we have firewalls up on it, so we're in good shape there. They just didn't pull it in time. I did. No problem, we'll get it. Yeah, there's nothing on the put leather pullers. Alright, back to 10% again. Get ready. I think the other person got hit by something. I think that's what happened. According to what that. happened in chat. Party chat. From your okay, do it. Go. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. There, there we go. you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. So that was good. I learned a little bit more about that raid this time. Did different jobs. Oh, just die. What the heck? Scales and gets not much. Go, you can have my stuff if you want. Awesome, thank you. I'll take it. I'm not proud. So at least a couple of flaws. Oh, I'm there. the cold charge. I'm breaking to you. Not loot. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. Love they get their loot too. Yeah, you can have them both. <laughs> what I say. Alright, good job, all. Thank you very much. Yep, thanks for the group, guys. I'm heading over to that uh, EE fought, but I think there's still some spaces if anybody is interested. Might be fun. Might jump in on that. Thank you. Alright, see you over there, then. Yeah, I'll jump over to that. Maybe. Alright, the impressive trophy. This looks like we're going to do another follow truth. This one's on EE. Tag, so it'll be, uh, Interesting. Some people don't carry it because there's items that give you blur. Thank you very much. Hey, guys. Welcome. What have you been doing? <laughs> Having the time of my life. I'm going to need to get a timer. Well, just did Epic Hard. First time I'd done Follow Truth earlier when I started the stream, and it was ridiculously easy. So I can't imagine E is going to be that much different. It was really ridiculous. I was actually disappointed in that raid. It was not that I contributed a whole lot, not knowing what I was doing, but still didn't seem to be that bad at all. I have to run all the way back from evening star to get there. A lot of people must have teleport something or other. I could see that. 
I can see the trash. Hey, Motorious, how's it going? If you miss it, why aren't you playing? I'm going to have to run to the bank and get a raid timer bypass, I believe. I definitely need to repair my gear too. Ah, maybe. If I could possibly repair, thank you. Alright. Yeah, I don't know, it was just... Didn't feel enough raid to me. It was really short. I expect it to last a lot longer. Let's see if I can find a timer here. There we go. So yeah, I wanted to pop the schedule up here real quick. Um, it's been a while since I popped the schedule up. So this channel is covered on most days. Uh, try it all. Different people streaming on different days at different times. Hopefully something in your time zone. You can catch them. Um, Tuesday is my normal day. So you'll see me here most Tuesdays. Who do I talk to? Oh, I forgot to actually pop the bypass. Do I have to re-talk to the store? Hey, how y'all doing? No, it's the guy up here, isn't it? Good, thank you. Is this it? That's reverse fate. Okay, who do you talk to to do this raid? Storm Reaver? Yeah, there he is. Fall Truth, Storm Reaver, Quest Bestowed. Yep. All right, we're good. Yeah, I can see it. When you've played it and you know either barely squeaked through or gotten beat, you finally figure out how to approach it and do it right, or it'd be fun. But coming fresh off the boat and not having played it before, and that group earlier just basically walked through it, it was like, whoa, holy cow, it's that easy. <laughs> I mean, I'd seen it on stream before, but I hadn't actually seen it was... Pfft. Ian, come on, Titan. I'm not doing epic normal. <laughs> Too eager there. I think it was on EH. Let me check. Fall... Yeah. It was on EH. So, yeah. And yeah, it was just... The reason we're here. People are getting... Uh, annoyed, it seems like. Some people are uh, only playing on EE. Those are the uh, heroism comms, right? Not the Valor ones. I believe that's what they're called. I have one combination of heroism. Woo! And I almost filled my bag of Valors. I need to stop taking those as rewards. Or trade them in for something else. Maybe I'll use those instead of heart seeds as my next uh, for my next reincarnate. Let's 
So two poopers still out dry hold. So my one com of heroism. At least I have one now, more than I had earlier today. Isn't that the story of most of the stuff in this game? Inevitably, I have something someone else needs and they have something I need, but it's all bound, so we can't trade. So several of the people in here have run this uh, several times, let's just say. There's no CC in here, we just kill everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't know that, Helena. I thought uh, both Is of them... Is there anybody here that can take the truth for them? I guess that's true, because I did caught oh, the web. We gotta have jobs, buddy. The other way. Who here can take truthful? I mean, I can. Kind of. Mostly. Good enough for me. You'd have, what, two tanks and then the kill order for the pairs? Is that what I understand? So yeah, I have one combination here because I did follow truth earlier, so I got one from that. I had caught it on the web the other day, didn't get any from that. LCS kill order. I am going to focus on staying alive. That's my focus. Reaper tank. Tio tank and a kiter for spectrals and then the LCS kill order, okay. I don't need long. Just do it. I do silence first because they throw up the CC on uh -huh. So they do SLC instead of I LTS. No, I mean silence. Silence this. Go. The uh, dancing ball to watch. And warn the others. This will be my second ever run of this. Oh yeah, I should check my XP because I'll get a bunch of shrink because I'll get the yeah, elite difficulty. Well, I what he said made sense. Do silence first because uh, of the crowd control that it, I have a blur, it does. Destroy this doomsday machine for good. Now, why would you destroy no, I don't have an iron stone. So much for you. We meet again, Draco Rich. Come down here and fight. Do you mean for uh, neck absorb, coward. spell absorb stuff? I can swap one of my rings. My words are true and thus cut deep. I cannot die. Probably unknown origins for my ring of gin. I mean I've got negative enemy absorption 
and I've got Dermsphere absorption. Whatever you are, your evil stays here. You get a completion, bud. We're already in. Alright. Okay. If I start taking a lot of electrical damage, I'll put the ring on. Confusion. This is silent. That's silent. You said we come first. Yeah. We're doing silence. So I want this then. Not you, him. Really badly. Yes. Horribly. The Little bit. It's real. You get hit by it too. Alright. Oh, I'm here. Oh, and hence why we wanted to take silence out first. So priority here is still to take down a pair or get people back up. I'm not familiar enough with this to know what we're supposed to be doing here at this point. The silence dragon needs a lot of work. Is it like 60%, 70%? Yeah. Oh, that's right there. I remember now from the earlier one. They've got that, uh... Support against raising going on. Gotta wait to raise them. This doesn't seem to be going well. This is definitely much more interesting than the first ran I did. I'll tell you that. Thanks for the notes, Helena. I'm seeing you. Yeah, I saw that earlier when somebody died. I forgot about it already. Until I saw that symbol above their head. I'm like, wait a minute, there's something about that symbol. At this point, I'm just making sure that he keeps taking damage so he doesn't reset. At this rate, I probably won't take him down myself. I do need to glance at the dragon, though, wherever he is. See up there? Yeah, the silence dragon? Okay. As long as I do something now and then, it should be fine. I can dance, that's cool. I uh, can't do anything. Uh, 
Jelly bean. I'm dead. Congratulations. I'm now gonna have to take this silence dragon. This is the dragon, this is the dragon. Right. Come to the middle for reses, people. I need to take another kill right there. Yeah, that's not the one I want, this is the one. Ah. Talk about confusion. Why are dragons on top of each other? A chance to take him off of there. I come to the middle for residence. Don't the direction is from the middle. I got some lag going on too. There we go. He turned around. He saw me. Oh yeah. Well, that worked. Except that I really can't handle the tank duty. But I'm definitely helping the beat down. That's not what I wanted. That's not good. I'm up to five minutes of time. stuff. That's awesome. It's gonna get me. He's gonna get me. The middle server is laser. Okay. I can't tell where I am, but I'm gonna go out of the way, so I don't think I can be res the real. Alright. So now I can catch up on Thanks Helena for the continuing tips here. I appreciate that. Alright, how's the dragon doing? Do I need to get back on him? Or did someone get him? Well, I mean, we're not... We haven't done any DPS to it, is the problem. I shifted my focus from the dragon to the trash. Or from the Paris to church. Alright, let me let me see if I can grab it. I mean the dragons are like what fifteen percent. Yeah. I uh, will do that. Got about a minute left. I much prefer the giant to the dragon. The dragon does a lot more damage to me than the giant did. The dragon's at a 5%. You drop the giant. Timer. I can't tell where people are.
penalty box. Mm. You have a uh, effect which prevents you from being raised for two minutes. find the edge of the range and just stay here. I'm tired of running. Yeah, I said ready for a raise and I'm standing in the center ish. <laughs> yeah, uh, people are kind of busy though. There's uh, how many people left that are actually active? One, two, three, four? Maybe three? Maybe five? There's five down, I think there's two are piking. I think it locks, doesn't it? You can't get in after a certain point. There's no point in spamming raise for ra ready for raise if they're not raising anybody right now. They're trying to contain the trash and still knock down the pairs. Is there anybody cleaning trash? I don't think so. Eight. That's gonna be a wipe. Uh, is anybody really dying? I got hammered by a ton of trash. Raises were being done earlier, but at this point, uh, I don't know. Anybody ready for a raise? I should have stocked up my raised dead scrolls, unfortunately. I forgot to and I ran out. Alright, so who has what on them? Oh, jeez! What was that? Oh, yeah. You warned me about that, didn't you? Waltz is ready. Enchantress is ready. That was uh, 713 points from Trap Electric. Uh, that wouldn't even helped. Even the ring wouldn't have helped in that situation. So anyway, here's the lingering grip of death I have for two minutes. 
temporarily immune to most effects that raise dead should you fall again. Start the portal ones. That's okay, I can heal. Anyone else ready? Stay up here. Thank you. Evidently. It's a little one gray, but here you go. How many pots do you go through? So liar and confusion still are not done yet. Liar. Well, they're not even half. Little one's ham. Jelly bean over his okay, food. <clears throat> yeah. Little one still. Well, yeah. This is a pug, so. Like we said earlier, you never know what you get in a pug. Let's let's just focus on trash. Let's clean up some trash, and then we'll do take a look at the pairs and see which pairs. Oh, well, let's... Okay, if everybody's back up and I am off timer, now I'll go. And uh, very far. Back up. Got stacked Delorith effects. Uh, let's see here. Let me get my inventory. Real I tried quick. to get some uh, cleaning of the trash, but yeah. I'll put the electric absorb ring on, so hopefully. Alright, we're doing trash now, so. Oh, not dragons, trash! That's the problem with being a. Uh, two I think we should. Confusion is lower. Yeah, let's do that. Confusion. Where's the confusion giant? There he is. Try to watch my health a bit better. Get ready on the giant. The dragons are like 15%, and I'm the only one on it, so we're gonna be a little time. Confusion dragons at about five. Dragons. Yes, literally. Go ahead and drop the giant. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Get that out of the way. Lion's Dragon needed a lot of work last time I looked. Yeah, I'll switch it to the Lion's Dragon. Thanks, Helena. Appreciate your assistance, tips, and tricks. Backing the heck up. The crystal is vulnerable, though. 
Not really. I just got hit for almost 200, so I'm gonna back up a minute. Yeah, we might need to slow up on the dragon a little. The giant's a, a little higher. That's Reaver. There's the giant. Let's go back on the giant then. Well, that wasn't good. Uh, dragon to the sliver. Just one giant. On the liar giant. We'll do the hold up on the dragon. We're not ready on the giant. Dragon fell. the giant. No, dragon's back up. Shit. Hey, off on the giant giant. Shit, knocked down. That was close. Yeah, three hit points. <laughs> Alright. Thought for sure I was gonna die. I hit you with the club. Actually hit you with something. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, there's a giant giant Dragon stop five. Just a sliver. Dragon's dead. Dragon's down. Dragon's down. Oh. Nice. Alright, let's get our dead guys up. I'm ready, Johnny. Yeah, we're on the sub hug, so. Everybody should be coming in the middle for a race. Never know what happens in a pug. Stupid barrier. Man, why don't you jump in and help, Matt? <laughs> This is my second ever time running it, so... I'm up here being a cheerleader. Not a very good one. I'm not familiar with it. Go laser! <laughs> Go Enchantress! Go Yoni! <laughs> Go Raven! Go JP! Go Storm! Go Shafala! Then crab all damage. And go anybody else that I missed. You can go me again if you want. To make you feel any better, I'm throwing Shirkin into the uh, barrier. Yeah, just keep hammering at it, I'm sure, pretty soon. Yeah, pr pretty soon the barrier will go down and then I can jump in there, right? I think that's how it works, yeah. This is much more exciting than the EH we ran earlier. That's for sure. Where do you want to take the dragon? Okay. Well, I'll just I'll just take the reaper to where I'm at. The prophecy. Of course. We are bound. We are bound. Death and life. Death and life. Life and death. You 
Yes, you must kill us both. I think people have done this a couple times. Remember to turn your uh, spell resistance on. Spell resistance is for gimps. Yes, master. Or don't turn it on, we'll just fight. It's up to you. If you saw the one earlier, it was a cakewalk. This is not. At one point, there were only two of us alive that were actually in the raid and not biking. And that doesn't mean that I was one of them. Because I uh, and guys, if I do get knocked down, I could use somebody ready with a cocoon or something. And are you on the driving? Yeah. And you guys are welcome to jump in anytime. And don't forget to throw me a heal every now and then, laser. Yeah, you got it, buddy. It's in the mail. Whew. It's much more interesting than the death room one was. Leave. Killing laser tags and sees tank. Typhals are up. Uh, Silver Earl's dead. We have to uh, designate somebody else to do those. Oh, isn't Can that Anybody pleasant. jump in and grab the uh, undead dragons? That's important. I'll try. Apparently, he's out of range for me to raise him. Well, it may not be uh, able to be raised. We kind of got lucky the truth horn was up in the air when we came out. I can give you a small raise. Yeah. Glad I brought those silver flame potions. It's been saving me quite a bit today. Oh, these are uh, got something to deal with here. There we go. Clear some trash. I'm not sure what the number is, I can't see it, but it's what, a third now? Because he's what? Nine, eight, yeah. 
He asked for cocoons if he gets knocked down. I want to make sure he stays up since he's tanking the dragon. It doesn't really matter if I die or some of the rest of us die, as long as he keeps the dragon's attention. Like right now. Okay, hey guys, we're gonna need we're gonna need some people to uh, swap over to the Storm Reaver. Remember, don't get close to him though if you don't have spell resistance on. So just like one or two people hop over there. Okay. And, left. and then just slow up our DPS on the true form. We don't need to cut it completely, but we need to be careful. Right. Are we ready? I still don't understand what happened to all the charges. I went from like 30 to 10. I have the giant's aggro. Whoa, hello. Look at all the colors, man. You can do it. I have evasion instead of, uh, spells. Are they about the same? Mm, no. You'll get the burn. Boom, that and be able to deal with still spread to the people. You guys want to stop? What's the uh, truth for? You're about the same. Take out the drag. Take out the truthful one, please. Please. Take out my ass, of course, right there. Nice. Nice, nice job. Uh, lag. Nice. That's right. We can have all the lag we want. That was exciting. And that's with. Yeah. So that was an interesting way to end the night, I think. Um, being way too close to failing that. Thanks to the group. Comms, anyone? Are we going to open the chest or what? I listen to his chest buster. Can we open yet? Why are people leaving without even the opening the chest? Because they didn't get the chest so because they were locked out. The, they're behind the barrier. They're behind they the barrier. Oh. They were for completions only. Alright, well. While that's doing that, um, let's see. I'll do this. Well, first time. Good luck. 
So with that, I'll come back for the loot, but this will pretty much be the end of the stream. So again, the schedule for this channel, um, I don't think damsels are, damsels are on tonight. I think they were on last night, so or I mean last week, so they should be off this week. And then uh, tomorrow, Cordovan's weekly lunch, Wednesday lunchtime live stream, and then the fling at 1.30. Shadow Palooza Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern, is on Philanus this week. And there's more of me at uh, Twitch TV, Seamorgu, YouTube, Seamorgu, Seamorgu.com, and Steam ID, Seamorgu. So let's get back to the loot real quick. Let's see if anybody got anything good. So if I get anything good. Uh, impressive trophy is the best thing out of that. Impressive trophy is the best thing out of that. And we got two comps of heroism. Woohoo. I will take it. Ooh, first roll. Looks like Titan won it. Yeah, it looks like Titan's got the comms. Let me get my comms out of here. There's a Manstone Aegis. Gauntlet Mortality. I think I'm the only one who rolled on those. Yep, and the Manson Aegis is up for a low 100 roll. Oh, if I won, on, it's been happening a lot recently. I've been winning or losing by one on my rolls. I rolled 23. Somebody else rolled 22 for the gauntlets. And I get the gauntlets. Cool. I don't think anything else in there is. Let's see. I don't know what we're rolling for. Oh, comms. And I was three below. So that's cool. I don't want to be greedy, but I did want to roll for it just to make sure. So that was, uh, yeah, Epic Leap Fall of Truth in about 40 minutes. 21 deaths. Yeah. That was the raid. So that's it for tonight, guys. Um, Thanks everybody for watching. Do appreciate it. I do appreciate follows both on DDO stream and my own channel, Twitch TV slash Um Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back next Tuesday, and uh, keep checking out the stream, playing DDO, playing DDO, and all that. Have fun.